वेलकम यू ऑल इन योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल प्राइमरी के पंख गुड मॉर्निंग यू ऑल आई एम तारकेश्वर पांडे एंड टुडे यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न योर न्यू लेसन ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स दैट इज लेसन थ्री द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर्स द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज हाउ मेनी स्क्वायर्स the target learning outcomes of this lesson or after finishing this lesson what will you learn are as follows number 1 you can understand the concept of area and perimeter once again you can understand the concept of area and perimeter number 2 you can measure area of regular and irregular steps using 1 cm square grid it means graph paper or geo board once again you can measure area of regular and irregular steps using 1 cm square grid it means graph paper or geo board number 3 you can derive formula for finding the perimeter and area of given figure and you can express its unit also once again you can derive formula for finding the perimeter and area of given figure and you can express its unit also number 4 you can solve simple problems related to the measurement of area and perimeter in real life once again you can solve simple problems related to the measurement of area and perimeter in real life the competencies of this lesson are number 1 knowledge number 2 understanding number 3 drawing skill number 4 skill of using tools and number 5 problem problem solving ability once again the competencies of this lesson are number 1 knowledge number 2 understanding number 3 drawing skill number 4 skill of using tools and number 5 problem solving ability we will use four strategies under this lesson for better understanding these strategies are number 1 individual task number 2 group task number 3 demonstration method and number 4 play way once again i want to repeat these four strategies number 1 individual task number 2 group task number 3 demonstration method and number 4 play way now in this video we will learn some basic concept related to this lesson and we will try to understand the concept of area and perimeter are you ready let's start first of all do you know about closed figure you have just learned about closed figure that the figure which is starting point and ending point are same is called closed figure you can also say that the figure which starts and ends at the same point is called closed figure now can you say about polygon okay the simple closed figure having more than two line segments is called polygon once again i want to repeat the simple closed figure having more than two line segments is called polygon now know the types of polygon triangle quadrilateral pentagon 
हेक्सागन हेप्टागन ऑक्टागन नॉनागन डेकागन एट्सेट्रा यू कैन सिंपली आइडेंटिफाई दिज पॉलीगन्स बाय द हेल्प ऑफ लाइन सिगमेंट्स ट्राइंगल हैज थ्री लाइन सिगमेंट्स क्वाड्रिलेट्रल हैज फोर लाइन सिगमेंट्स पेंटागन हैज फाइव लाइन सिगमेंट्स हेक्सागन हैज सिक्स लाइन सिगमेंट्स हेप्टागन हैज सेवन लाइन सिगमेंट्स ऑक्टागन हैज एट लाइन सिगमेंट्स नॉनागन हैज नाइन लाइन सिगमेंट्स एंड डेकागन हैज टेन लाइन सिगमेंट्स ओके नाउ नो अबाउट टू डायमेंशनल फिगर एंड थ्री डायमेंशनल फिगर यू कैन ऑल्सो से टू डी फिगर एंड थ्री डी फिगर द फिगर हैविंग ओनली लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ इज कॉल्ड टू डायमेंशनल फिगर और टू डी फिगर वंस अगेन द फिगर हैविंग ओनली लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ इज कॉल्ड टू डायमेंशनल फिगर और टू डी फिगर एग्जाम्पल ऑल पॉलीगन्स ऑल पॉलीगन्स आर टू डायमेंशनल फिगर एंड द फिगर हैविंग लेंथ ब्रेथ एंड हाइट is called three dimensional figure or 3d figure once again the figure having length breadth and height is called three dimensional figure or 3d figure example cube cuboid cylinder cone sphere etc now you are able to know about square and rectangle first know what is a square the quadrilateral having four equal sides and each angle of 90 degree is called square once again the quadrilateral having four equal sides and each angle of 90 degree is called square you can look in the given figure it is a square it has four sides and its each angle measure is 90 degree know about rectangle now the quadrilateral having opposite sides are equal and parallel and each angle of 90 degree is called rectangle once again the quadrilateral having opposite sides are equal and parallel and each angle of 90 degree is called rectangle you can look in the given figure it is a rectangle its opposite sides are equal its each angle is of 90 degree and its opposite sides are parallel now compare the following two line segments which one is bigger a or b very good now compare these two notes which one is bigger a or b very good now compare these two postcard which one is bigger very good but how did you guess by looking their length very well now compare these two triangles which one is bigger wow very good dear students the distance around a two dimensional shape is called perimeter the distance around a two dimensional shape is called perimeter or you can also see that the boundary of any two dimensional figure is called perimeter and the space inside the shape is called area the space inside the shape is called area you can also see that the space occupied by a 
flat shape or the surface of an object is called area. Once again, you can also say that the space occupied by a flat shape or the surface of an object is called area. It means the area of a figure is the number of unit squares that cover the surface of closed figure. Now know the difference between area and perimeter. It is most important to know you all what is difference between area and perimeter. Area is the two dimensional space or a region occupied by a closed figure while perimeter is the distance around a closed figure okay area is the space inside the shape but perimeter is its boundary am i clear two shapes may have the same perimeter but different areas or two shapes may have the same area but different perimeters for example the mat on which you sleep the parts of mat on which you can sit sleep or put anything is its area but the outline or boundary of the mat is its perimeter once again know this example very well the part of mat on which you can sit sleep or put anything is its area but the outline or boundary of the mat is its perimeter you can put things on mat's area but you cannot put things on mat's perimeter if you want to put things on perimeter then it will be on the floor or earth okay now in this video you have known about closed figure polygon and its type two dimensional figure and three dimensional figure and the concept of area and perimeter i hope you will have known them very well we will meet soon in the next video with detailed knowledge of area and perimeter so for the time i want to wish you all have a great day goodbye if you are first time viewer of this channel then subscribe this channel and also press the bell icon for more updates about this channel